It was 1995. I was four. Toy Story was released and it changed my life. Kyle loved Woody. I just knew that was the perfect Christmas present. We were inseparable, but it wasn't long before I became Sid. Don't kill Woody. Die, Woody. At some point, things changed. What is wrong with this kid? I've been so evil. Did you see it? Yes. What are we doing? No, remember I said I'm making a documentary. Remember? Can't you do something? I mean, you're a therapist. I am your sister. I cannot be your therapist. Please. Have you seen Woody lately? Yes. When I look at him now, I just have this sadness inside of me, you know, like I, I let him I'm not, down. I'm not proud of what I did. It was I just did. something about watching him flail about, lifelessly glide through the air like a sad popped balloon falling to its inevitable fate. I just, I just needed to bash his happy little face in. And, and then I start to wonder, you know, it's like, was, was I alone? I would say that if you were about 15 or 16 years old, that you would be diagnosed with schizophrenia, with delusions, was and maybe an attachment disorder. I'm alone. But since this video looks like it was when you were eight or nine, I would say that's normal behavior. Kids destroy things. I don't think you're alone. I needed to see for myself. No freaking way. The case studies were endless. It was overwhelming. That are a sucker. How could such a beloved and loyal character be tormented by so many evil children? You that, you big, drunk idiot! I had to do something. My goal was simple, to give Woody the life he deserved. Rewrite history, raise awareness, and let the people know that they're not alone. I'm so glad that you're doing this. It's making us all feel a little less alone. I don't talk about this often. I would beat up my Woody. Hey, whoa, hey, hey. Room against a brick wall. I just kept saying, You've got a snake in your boot. I just. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be okay. You're not alone. Woody was always there for me. And I let him down. I encourage everyone to dust off their Woody and bring him back to life. We now have support groups around the world. We even have our own hashtag. I told Kyle, You can't treat Woody like that. Someone that you love he is your friend. You have to be careful how you treat your friends. I hate to say it, but what goes around comes around. You're my favorite deputy. Oh. <laughs> Woody was always more than just a toy. And now I know that.